Okay, it took a while, but we got all the way back and we beat him. Looks like that was it. Now release the printies. Why should I? Why should I do that? You know that the printy population has grown so large, it's causing a bunch of problems in the netherworld, don't you? First of all, printies are straight up criminals. Who cares if they're gone? But what's the big deal? Straight up. It takes a printy hundreds of years to pay off its sins. The whole netherworld will be destroyed at this rate. That's why we have to get rid of them. There's no other way. Fenric. Yes, my lord. Uh, Oops, hit the wrong button. Well, I didn't hit the wrong button, I just hit the button too quickly. Kind of screwed up. I thought I was dead for sure, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Don't just yet. The Corruptament has decided to exterminate all prinnies. What? <laughs> Are you serious, dude? But you're gonna help us, right? Probably not. I promise to give each of you a sardine, but once that promise is fulfilled, what happens next is none of my concern. No way, dude! You gotta help us! Oh, unfortunately, my schedule is all booked up. I don't have time to be meddling with you. <laughs> so, so, just what is it that you have to do, dude? Can it really be more important than our lives? Probably. Naturally! I have to go straighten up our irresponsible president and our rotten corruptiment. Yep. What, dude? You heard me, dude. You, 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 you gotta be kidding me. You couldn't even do that in your wildest dreams, idiot. The corruptiment are the real idiots. Huh? The reason why the prisons are increasing is because the corruptiment has slacked off on scaring the humans to keep them in line. Exterminating the printies while putting themselves on a pedestal isn't going to solve anything in the long run. This place will soon be filled with the souls of rotten humans once again. Well, that's... If the Corruptorman can't even see that, then we're headed for a worldwide crisis. That is why I must go! To awaken the President from his delusions! Wow. <laughs> We know that you care a lot about the netherworld, dude! But you should think about us and help us out, dude! <laughs> As our pretty instructor! Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. As your pretty instructor? What could possibly be bothering you, my lord? The prinnies aren't worth saving. We're left with only two options, so choose whichever Look you want. Look at how retarded that printy in the front looks. The corruptiment, or become our lord's loyal vassals. I won't let the corruptiment exterminate you if you become my vassals. I'll promise you that. However, being my vassals won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll be able to pay off your sins much faster. <laughs> wow, look at look, look at the printing with the hold on wait, why is he holding the bomb? Okay, he put it up. You heard that, didn't you, Rascal? Now run along home and tell your father. If your rotten brain has forgotten the spirit that makes proud demons, I, Valvatores, shall make you remember. And this is how demons from Hades, the netherworld's prison, arose to his mission. His name is Valvatores, the tyrant. And he has boldly taken the first step towards stopping the wheel of corruption. Axel, I promise you right here, right now, that I'll never forget the passion and bravery that led you to your death. <laughs> Take this as my tribute to your memory. I don't think he's dead yet, dude. Uh oh. I think I'm turning into a my prey, lord. dude. Is that a sardine head? <laughs> I heard they're used to repel evil in some parts of the human world. 
Dude, come on. A sardine head, dude? That might be taken as an offense rather than a kind offer. Yes. Oh well. Yeah, oh well. Hey, you! What the hell do you think you're doing helping the prince? Well, howdy, little Miss Attitude. What you've done is unforgivable. This means war. War, I say! We, the Frenny Exterminators, declare an all-out war against you! Episode 1. End. The Frenny Exterminators make a sudden appearance. A shocking truth is revealed! The kanji for the word sardine is a combination of the characters fish and weak. What is going on here? Are you talking about <laughs> sardines again? Some say that's because sardines weaken quickly after they're taken out of the water. That is absolutely not true. They're nutritious and are even used to repel evil thanks to their potent smell. They couldn't possibly be weak. From now on, let's officially make the combination of fish and strong the correct kanji spelling for sardine. Oh, by the way, Sardina is sardine in Russian. Next time, episode two, Hell's Legendary Sardine Road. Eat sardines to power up, dog. <laughs> don't cry when you eat them. Hey, don't ignore me! Ugh, I won't stand for this! Eat sardines to power up, dog. Oh, man. I'm loving this game. A war? What a foolish lass. A war is a jumble of pointlessness that creates hatred and death, and takes everything from everyone. It's the epitome of absurdity. Quite true. It is nothing but an act of folly, perpetuated by pitiful humans. Besides, what's so fun about making the people below you fight against each other, sword against sword, fist against fist, Pitting your violence against another's, fighting your own battles with your life on the line is the true appeal of war. My lord, unfortunately, that's only a demon's point of view. Humans are war profiteers who only care about their own selfish desires. Pretty much. To that end, they don't care about wasting time, money, or labor. In other words, they're a bunch of idiots. Most of the time. In that case, I will not allow such degenerates to start spreading that kind of idiocy here in Hades. My lord, please wait. That last seemed to be leading an unknown force. I'm assuming that she has been sent by the Corruptorment. If that is the case, it wouldn't be very wise of us to go marching in without prior knowledge of who and what they really are. However, I already promised her that I would meet her at Rotten Field. If I were to fail to be on time for any reason, I would be breaking the promise I made as a proud and noble demon. Wow. Sorry for the delay, Sir Fenric. We've gathered some intel on those pretty exterminators, dude. Sir Fenric? You're 15 seconds late. Okay. Pretty rule number six. You shall never make your master wait. If you ever fail to meet this rule... You shall confess your most embarrassing experience, dude. Wow. At least you're aware of the consequences. So, what do you have to report? Yes, sir. The Prinny Exterminators are a newly assembled Corruptorment Force. They consist of humans who fail to become Prinnies, dude! Wow. Fail to become Prinnies? The production of Prinny Hide can't keep up with the number of souls that are being sent here from the human world, dude! Dude! And that's why they don't look like Prinnies. I pity them for not even being able to become Prinnies. But that doesn't explain why they're trying to exterminate the Prinnies. The Corruptorment probably has something to do with this. Using those unprinnies to get rid of the Prinnies. No matter which side wins, it's a win-win situation for the Corruptorment. It's a rather impressive scheme. This isn't the time to be impressed. As a Prinny instructor, I can't just stand idly by and watch this happen. All that aside, the clock is ticking. We better get going, Fenric. Fenric. Understood. All is for my lord. Yeah, I don't think my mic is recording the way it should. Uh, uh, Sir Fenric, do we still have to confess our most 
embarrassing moments, dude. You probably forgot, but you reminded him. I was able to make Axel out to be an anarchist, thanks to the information you all gathered. Considering that great achievement, I'll overlook your failure this time. Episode 2, Frenny Wall. Okay, fire away. I'm going to. Hey, treasure 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 Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what's that? Oh, yeah. Huh. See if I can equip that. Yeah, that that'll be cool. Peace.